Yeah. Sure. And it will be part of it. Right. And that's why I just refer and I use those keywords so you can go back and look at the SOP and go, well, no, that's not fair and impartial. And no, he did not take into consideration the fact that my initial call with him is that his person he's in charge of who is that a level one or a level two investigation? Level one. Did? Level one? Mm -hmm. And how long do they have to complete a level one investigation? 90 days. 90 days? Okay, I thought, I was sworn someone said 60 for the other one, and I was like, why would it take longer? Either way, uh, if you look at his file, uh, he declared that my complaint against the officer was invalid on the first day he got it, February 1st, without ever trying to contact me before he even sent the letter out. So, based on my initial intake where I said I wasn't fully taking my, or my complaint wasn't complete yet and I wasn't ready to give that statement because you just woke me up and I don't have the documents in front of me. He actually closed it before I even received the letter and never tried to contact me. So there was no statement ever taken by the officer and no intention of a statement ever be taken by the officer even though they didn't have my full complaint over what my problems with the officer were. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. So in that case, what I would say the easiest part to review that would be to get a transcript of the Ursham narrative instead of what Ursham wrote as my complaint, what I actually said when I talked to him, which is why I was filing these through the portal. Mm -hmm. But when I file them through the portal, no one reads them before they come out, so I'm going over the exact same information again. If you had reviewed the information and we could go back and forth, you could tell me this is wrong because, and then we can move on past that. But right as it stands now, I'm just giving you the guidelines that should have been reviewed in the first place and everything that went wrong with no one reviewing it completely ahead of time. Which, with yours, it would mainly, you've actually been a lot more prepared to know which phone calls are on there. I would like to know the dates of all of the Bernhardt emails that he ignored and who he's in communication with. Especially since, uh, as far as the appeal goes, which again... The argument was that he gave me the wrong office for the appeal, and I had to go through multiple, so I don't even know if I got to the right one. Uh, the person I talked to about the appeal said I be, had to reopen the appeal, and they had nothing to do with any complaints or changes to the IAB file. So I went back to IAB. They said they're not doing anything with that. I said, I have an hour and 40 minute conversation where we went over the documents that you didn't actually review and why there's a problem and how the person who was reviewing the appeal could not answer my questions and uh, in the documents that he told me to get actually said that they did it improperly as I stated initially. Now the fact that I didn't know your exact codes to tell them what was wrong with the issue is not my fault. Like I can give you a vague description of what I think the problem is without knowing your procedures. It's a professional's job to actually go back and make sure that they're in line with the thousand page SOP or 300 page SOP. But the main concern I had with the video, and I know we're done, except I do want to bring this up, with the cruiser cam video, that cruiser cam was inoperable for roughly six months. Uh, the officers, everyone I talked to, either told me it was not a police vehicle or I was confused about what type of police vehicle and I was told to go to other entities to get it and things like that when it's very obviously a police vehicle up front. So what we had is whoever was driving that vehicle for six months was not in compliance with the vehicle as far as their duties, they're when they're supposed to turn it on, when they're supposed to turn it off. So I have complaints about them not doing their job up front they're a very specific unit um, that is supposed to not be police. You know what I mean? They're supposed to come in and try to make sure someone's safe and comfortable with the situation. But when you walk into someone's house, accuse them of crime, say that they have no option except to go in and get reviewed without actually looking at the information, not knowing your name when they show up, handcuffing you in a painful way that took them three minutes to do, um, you can look at the tape. It took three minutes to figure it out. In the entire time I was in the back of the vehicle, he told me it was going to be taped. Mm -hmm. It was not. I was complaining about the processes. Because of what happened, like they said, you'll go there and you'll get reviewed. Mm -hmm. And if everything's fine, you'll be out in 15 minutes. They walk you through the door, take you to a room, strip you naked, take all your clothes, and you sit there and wait an hour and a half to speak to a doctor while they run tests on you and things like that. There's no... You could walk out of here in 15 minutes. 
I was naked. My clothes were taken away. I was literally strip searched. I didn't have my keys. I didn't have my wallet. I didn't have my cell phone. And I was woken up in the middle of the night from a nap. I had no coat. They threw away my jeans while I was there because I was in, you notice the house is 65 degrees. That's what I keep it at in the winter. They showed up. It was like, who knows, 10, 20, five degrees outside, no coat, drug out of my house, no cell phone, no keys. It took me two weeks to get my car keys back from whoever, what the person who did not live in my home, who showed up specifically to let them in. Because I specifically said, if that would have happened without you sitting there and giving them the opportunity to come in, I would have said, hey guys, what's the problem? No, you're misinformed. I'm perfectly fine. You can go. And that would have been the end of it. They had no opportunity to come into my house and violate my rights, but they did it based on a false premise because the person was there and they could use it to do so. I also feel like they may actually be holding documents back uh, 